This is my all-time favorite curry. It's the Nonya chicken curry, and it's really, really popular in Singapore. I can't speak more highly of this curry, and if you get a chance to cook it, definitely something you should do. All right, so we're gonna start with the paste. I've got here some galangal, some uh, turmeric, some fresh ginger, some garlic, and some dried chilies. I'm also gonna put in a couple of red chilies, and we've got a couple of onions. Cut your chilies into sort of little pieces. Again, if you don't want it too hot, remove the seeds. These are candle nuts. The closest to this would be a macadamia nut. So if you can't find this in the shops, pick up some macadamia nuts. And my favorite of all times, blanchan. Uh, look, can I tell you, it adds that much more flavor to your dish and it's imperative to include this. All right, so for those of us who run out of time and we want something pretty quick, uh, bring out the old blender. And essentially what we're doing is we're putting all of this in here. Ah, we forget an ingredient. It's lemongrass. So with the lemongrass, just cut them up in small pieces. All right, so what I generally do when I'm blending, if you've got a small blender like this, is to mix it up a little bit. So a bit of ginger, a bit of the turmeric, some of the uh, uh, candle nuts. Oh, by the way, these are actually toxic, so you don't want to eat them raw. But because we're actually going to be cooking them down um, in the paste, it's fine. So all this goes in. I've got a little bit of onions in there too. Garlic, some of my red chili, my dry chili. Now, this is also going to give awesome color, really, really good color. So mix it all up a little bit. So I'm just going to scoop this out and I'll finish the rest of it. So we've got our paste done. Um, now it's down to cooking it. So I've got it on the heat. I'm going to put some oil in there. So the idea is to actually cook the curry paste down until it's, you can smell it. It takes a rawness out of the paste. And for this amount of chicken, it's about a kilo of chicken. I'm going to put in maybe two tablespoons. I'm gonna turn the flame down a little, all right, and keep that going. So like most sambals, what you wanna do is fry the ingredients, the paste down until it sort of separates from the oil. And you'll know what I mean when, you, when, when it happens. That's great. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the dried spices. So probably a big teaspoon, maybe a tablespoon of it. And I'm not gonna put all of this cumin. I'm just gonna put a little bit about a quarter of a teaspoon. Right, so now the chicken goes in. So I've got here one whole chicken and I've cut it up into eight to 12 pieces. So now that the chicken's all been coated with the curry paste, I'm gonna add the coconut milk. All right, all goes in. Let's bring that up to the boil. It's a little thick, so I'm actually gonna just thin it down a little bit with some water. All right. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these um, kaffir lime in. I like them, I'm gonna put four in. These came from my front garden, so I'm quite happy to be putting them in here salt and sugar, and that's it. Now salt enhances the flavor of spices as well. A bit of sugar, a little bit less sugar than salt. You know, this really reminds me of my visit to Cambodia just recently. I went to Hope, a family and community center. The mothers who looked after the children worked so hard and were such selfless women. So I thought, you know, it'd be really nice to cook them a dish using ingredients they were familiar with, you know, the lemongrass, the galangal, turmeric, and cook them something entirely different. So I cooked them my nonya chicken curry. I've just finished buying some ingredients for the curry. It was quite hilarious because no one could understand what I was talking about. So I just jumped in and picked up the ingredients and um, I think I got it all. We're just looking for some chilies. Um, BJ, 
Ambal, salt, uh, 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 sugar, and then pork is name Bala. Bala. That's how they make coconut cream. And she just added a bit of water to squeeze and then massage it into the coconut. Just kneading the uh, meat in with the chilies and the salt. It was a hit. I mean, they loved it. For one, the fact that someone actually cooked for them. And two, there were so many familiar flavors, but yet the dish was so different. So. I mean, if you were ever to learn any curries, this is the one you should learn. Right, the curry's almost done. I'm just gonna put in the lemons right now and we should be able to take it off the stove. Oh, it looks great. I think we're ready to plate up. This looks sensational. Can't wait to get into it. This is the best part. I get to try it. Um, I can already smell it. I can smell the kaffir lime and all the spices that went into it, the aromat. It's beautiful. Best way to eat this, go get yourself a baguette from the supermarket, put it in the oven so it's really nice and crunchy, and then just dunk. Whoa.